Hi there, I'm Brian and welcome along to the Virtual Buns concert for East Park. Against the band behind me. I'll be doing some songs for the event and I'm also delighted to say that there's some great artists who will be joining me tonight. Firstly, we have Paul Anderson, the fiddle wizard from Tarland in Aberdeenshire. If you've not heard Paul before, you're in for a treat. And in addition to that, we also have the great Scottish actors, Ian Robertson and Scott Fletcher, who will both be reading verses for us. So, lots to look forward to. So, the first song I'm going to do is Rant and Robin Robin, which Buns writes on his 28th birthday, imagining his birth, what that was like, and everyone's thoughts for the future. So, I wrote the tune, he wrote the words. Hope you enjoy it. Rant and Robin Robin. films and in countless records and I first met him about 11 years ago when we did the Space Side Sessions album. He's going to do two burn sets for us tonight and here's the first one. So over to you in the North Poles. Hello folks. Um, I'm going to play three tunes that um, are our melodies for Burns songs but they're fiddle tunes um, and a lot of Burns' music that he set his lyrics to um, were actually fiddle tunes that he used. Um, and indeed he was an actual fiddle player himself. So the first one's called Wa the Airs the Wind Can Blah. That's followed by the Rothy Marcus Rant and then My Love She's But a Lassie Yet. Um, the first tune originally was called Lady Admiral Gordon by William Marshall and Burns set it to Wa the Airs the Wind Can Blah. The Rothy Marcus Rant um, Burns took that melody and set lyrics to it, then it was called The Lassie with the Lint White Locks, and finally the real My Love She's But a Lassie Yet. <laughs> Thank you. 
thanks Paul, that was absolutely fantastic and I'm looking forward to hearing the second set as well. Now, a special treat, the great Scottish actor Scott Fletcher, who you'll know from River City, Gary Tank Commander, Monarch of the Glen, The Little Vampire, a great actor and a great guy and he's going to be giving us a man's a man for all of that. So over to you Scott. Is there for honest poverty that hangs his head and all that? The coward slave we pass him by, we dare be poor for all that. For all that and all that, our toils obscure and all that. The rank is but the guinea stamp, the man's the gowd for all that. What though on hamely fare we dine, we are hod and grey and all that. Gee fills their silks and knaves their wine. A man's a man, for all that. For all that and all that, their tinsel show and all that. The honest man, though e'er say poor, is king of men, for all that. You see yon burkey called a lord, with struts and stairs and all that. Though hundreds worship at his word, he's but a coof, for all that. For all that and all that, his ribbon star and all that. The man, O oh, independent mind, he looks and laughs at all that. A prince can mak a belted knight, a marquis, duke and all that, but an honest man's aboon his might, good faith he mun for that. For all that, and all that, their dignities and all that, the pith of sense and pride of worth are higher rank than all that. Then let us pray that come it may, as come it will for all that, that sense of worth o'er the earth shall bear and gree and all that. For all that and all that, it's coming yet for all that, that man to man the world o'er shall brothers be for all that. Thanks so much, Scott. That was absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm going to be doing a Bond song called No Western Winds. Now, he begins this when he's really still a schoolboy and he's fantasising about a woman called Margaret Thompson. She's the Peggy Deer in the song. He also has thoughts for Jean Armour, but it's beautifully evocative and some of the best lyrics he's ever written. No Western Winds. <laughs> Hey. 
Stephen River City just now to Small Faces, The Rat Catcher, Sea of Souls, Basic Instinct 2, The New Whiskey Galore, a fantastic performer and if you've never seen his tap shanter you're in for something special. So Ian's going to be uh, presenting this magical caution detail from his frozen pods right now. So over to you Ian. When Chapman Billies leave the street and Druthy neighbours, neighbours meet as market days are drawn late and folks begin to tack the gate while we sit boozing at the nappy and getting foo and unca happy we think no on the lang Scots miles the mosses, wars, slaps and styles that lie between us and our hamer sits we're sulky, sullen dame gathering our brews like gathering storm nursing her wrath to keep it warm this truth found on his tam shanter as he free airy night did canter old earl i'm near a tune surpasses for honest men and bonny lasses oh gentle dames it gives me grief to think how many counsels sweet how many lengthened sage devices the husband from the wife despises but to our tale a market night time get planted unca right fast by an ingle blaze and finally we are reaming spats that drank divinely and at his elbow suitor johnny his ancient trusty druthy crony tam loved him like a very brother they've been getting food for weeks together the night drave on with sangs and clatter and here the ale was growing better the landlady and tam grew gracious with favour secret sweet and precious the storm without might rare and rustle tam did na mind the storm a whistle care mad to see a man say happy e'en drowned himself among the nappy as bees flee home with lades of treasure the minutes wind their way with pleasure kings may be blessed but tam was glorious her all oh, the ills are life victorious but pleasures are like poppy spread you seize the flower its bloom is shed or like the snow falls in the river a moment white then melts forever or like the borealis race that flicked ere you can point their place or like the rainbow's lovely form a vanishing amid the storm nay man can tether time nor tide their approaches 
Come on, Red, that hour of night's black arch the key, stain that dreary hour, he mounts his beast, and in sick a night he tacks the road, and his ne'er poor sinner was abroad, and the wind blew as it was blown its last, the rattling showers rose through the blast, the speedy gleams of darkness swallowed, loud, deep, and lang the thunder bellowed. That night a child might understand. The deal had business on his hand. Wheel mounted on his grey mare, Meg, a better never lifted leg. Tam skelped home through dub and mire, despise and wind and rain and fire. Wells holding fast his gid blue bonnet, Wells crooning her some old Scots sonnet. Wells going round with prudent cares, lest boogles catch him unawares. By this time, he was cross the ford, where in the snow the chapman's moored, and past the bucks and meekle stain, where drunken Charlie Brack's neck bane, and by the thorn aboon the well, where Mungo's mother hanged her cell. Before him, doon pours all its floods, the Dublin storm roars through the weeds, the lightnings flash free pole to pole, near and more near the thunders roll. When, glimmering through the groaning trees, Kirkalo, he seemed in a blaze. Through Alcabor, the beams were glancing, and loud resounded mirth. In dancing, inspiring bold John Barleycorn, what dangers thou canst make us scorn with Tippany, we fear no evil, we usky be. He'll face the devil. The swats he reamed in Tammy's noddle fit play. Carney deals a bottle, but Maggie stood. Right, sir, astonished until by the hand and heel admonished she ventured forward on the light. And wow, Tam saw an unca sight. Warlocks and witches in a dance, nay, Cotillion, Brent New, Free France, but hornpipes, jigs, strathspeys, and wheels put life and metal in their heels. I went up bunker in the east. There sat old Nick in shape a beast, a towsy type, black grim and large, to gate that music was his charge. He screwed the pipes and guard them, skirl to roof and rafters, all to diddle. Coffins stood rune like. Open presses that showed the dead in their last dresses, and by some devilish cantrip slight, each in his cold hand held a light by which heroic Tam was able to note upon the holy table a murderer's banes and gibbet urns, twa spun lang wee unchristened bairns, a thief new cutted for a rape, with his last gasp, his gob did gape, five. Tomahawks with murder rusted, five scimitars with blood red rusted. We mare a horrible and author which even to name would be unlawful. Tammy glared, amazed and curious as the mirth and fun grew fast and furious. The piper loud and louder blew, the dancers quick and quicker flew. They reeled, they set, they crossed, they click it to Ulka Carl and Swat and Rika and Cooster Duddies to the wark. And link it in her, in her sack. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, had they been queens, all oh, plump and strapping in their teens, they breeks of mine, my only pair that once were plush with good blue hair, I would have given them half my hearties for a boink of the bonny birdies. But with her bedlams, old and drill, a loud pen and a flinging on a crummock, I wonder it didn't turn thy stomach, but. Tammy Ken, but was foo brawly. <laughs> there was a winsome wench in Wally that night enlisted in the corps. Long after Ken on Carrick Shore, for many a beast of dead she shot and perished money a bonny boat and shook bath meekle corn and beer and kept the countryside in fear. Hark, Cutty Sark, <laughs> oh Paisley Harm, that while a lassie she had worn in longitude, though sorely scanty, it was our best, and she was vanty. Oh, little Ken, thy reverend granny, that sark, she coughed for her wee nanny with twa pound scots, twas all riches, whatever grace and dance of witches. <laughs> but here, my muse are wingman car, sick flights are far beyond her power, 
to sing how Nanny lap and flying a simple jade she was and strang and how Tam stood like one bewitched and thought his very ear and wretched even Satan glared and fidged through fain and hotched and blew in might and main till first he kept her sign and another Tam tint his reason all together and roars out Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant all was dark, and scarcely had he Maggie rallied when out the hellish legion sallied. His bees buzz out with angry fight when plundering herds assail their bike. His open pussy's mortal foes when pop she starts before their nose. So Maggie runs, the witches follow, with Monny and Aldrich screeching hollow. Oh, Tam, oh, Tam, thou get thou fair and in hell they'll roast thee like a heron. In vain I care, wait till I come and Kate soon will be a wolf a woman. Now, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and win the key stain of the brig. There at them thy tail may toss a running stream they dare the cross. But the her the keys then she could make a finta tail she had to shake for Nanny, far before the rest, hard upon noble Maggie pressed, and flew it down with furious metal. But little was she Maggie's metal. <laughs> a spring brought off her master hail, <laughs> but left behind her own grey tail. The carlin caught her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. No. Oh, this tale of truth shall read. Elk, man, or mother's son, to that kid. When air to drink, you are inclined, or cutty sarks run in your mind, think. You may buy the joys our dear. Remember Tam O'Shanter's mare. Thanks, Ian. That is a tour de force. Thanks so much. Now we're back to our wizard in the north, the great Paul Anderson, in rural Aberdeenshire for his second burn set, which is really something to savour. So over to you, Paul. Right, folks. Um, my second set that I'm going to play starts with a, a tune called um, Major Graham of Inch Breaky, which it's not likely it'll be um, a familiar title, but this is actually the original melody that Robert Burns set his lyrics for My Love is Like a Red Red Rose to. It's, um, it's a beautiful fiddle tune by Neil Gow, and um, I actually prefer it to the, the well-known version, but that's just a matter of taste. Um, I'm going to follow that with a jig called Ken Muir's Up in a Wah Willie, and then a reel called Corn Briggs.
point. And thanks again to Ian and Scott for a fantastically evocative verse. Now remember, this is all for the young people at East Park. And if you can visit the website and support them in any way, that'd be fantastic. I'm going to leave you with All My Sign, the last song that Burns ever wrote. I'm going to do it a modular segue, so both both tunes, both the Ramsey tune and the Thompson tune. So I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening and I'll see you again. Bye bye. All Lang Syne. We'll take a cup of 